Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I am your host, Not So Average Joe, and in the last episode, this creature thing we spotted, we lost Zelda, we spotted this thing, and now we're going to... Oh, you ran away! Come here. No, 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 no! What a way to start the video. Applause for me, folks. Watch your footing out there in the dark. You never know when you might take a wrong step off a ledge. Don't let me catch you flying at night. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Be prepared to see this guy a lot. Because every time you accidentally jump off of an edge, he will show up to, sh to, to shave you. He will show up to shave you. <laughs> and it gets quite annoying, actually. But, let's just follow Miss Creature thing. Oh, look, it's Dopeness. What's up, man? Oh, it's so cute with his little butt. What'd you want? What'd you want? Oh, my goodness gracious. That, oh, you jerk! Kill it with fire! Let's see someone save you now, jerk. Yep, the same little creatures you saw in the daytime are now evil creatures of the night. It's scary. It makes me feel kind of bad, because you actually hurt these things, and they're still very cute even though they're trying to kill you. And even though even though it looks like I'm trying to hurt this thing further, I'm actually very sorry for this thing, and I am not in any way trying to harm this thing. Get out of my face. <laughs> I'm such an animal abuser. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can't, cannot forget this. Treasure down here. I believe it's 20 rupees. Come on. Yeah, 20 rupees. Link looks like extremely happy every time he collects something. It's marvelous. Oh, you're so... Get the heck off my edge. Get off my edge. I don't go down with him. All right. Let's just continue on. So what are you guys up to? What games are you playing? Um, I've I've been ooh, stamina is about to run out. Better take it slow. Better take it slow. Better you can make it, Link. You can make it, Link. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Yes. Ah. Oh! Someone give me props for that one. All right. Anyway, I sound really calm right now. I don't know why. I'm just like at peace with the world right now. I, I sound like I don't have a care in the world. Get the... Get off me. Out of here. Oops. Sorry, I was just playing, uh... What was I playing? I was playing No More Heroes earlier, so I'm kind of used to pressing C to adjust the, uh, camera. So, yeah, excuse me for that. But I'm pretty good with... Blah, I'm pretty good with remembering controls for each game, so... Shouldn't be a problem. Just gotta get accustomed to it, because I was literally just playing No More Heroes like a second ago. Uh, I love that game. So anyway, now that we are with... Oh, I almost said, almost said the creature's name. Now that we are with the, whatever it is, it goes through the door and... Opens it up for us. Oh my god. Yawn. Hmm. Hopefully I can talk today, because I know yesterday, oh my goodness, or like my last recording session, I could not talk at all. It was ridiculous. Absolutely redonkulous. But anywho, let's just continue on. Oh no. That's never a good sign. It appears I am in need of batteries, but that that isn't of importance right now, because we are looking at a sword. And it is quite a beautiful... Oh my goodness! All right, I'll shut up now. Well, never mind. I have to read the text. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a great role in the great destiny of greatness. According to your social cut, uh, I should provide you with my personal des designation. Yeah, designation. Apparently, I can't read. <laughs> can't talk yesterday, and I can't read today. Nice. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up the sword. 
as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. Man, why does Link have to do everything? Why can't the chosen one be like Groose or something? <laughs> um, there's actually going to be kind of a reference to that later. I won't spoil it right now, though. Anyway, under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some ap apprehension. Yeah, I can't read today. Wow. It's always something. Each recording session, isn't it? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that the information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. AKA, you might cry. I don't... Why can't you talk normal? So Zelda's still alive, wow. Of course, what would you expect? I mean, you wouldn't expect Zelda to be dead, would you? <coughs> the one you call Zelda is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out and search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? I am. It seems that the further it seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. They did it. They said the name of the game in the text and it, 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 they said it. All right, sorry. I'll stop being a nerd. Ready to stance, and press A to remove, and bang! We got ourselves a sword, raise it skyward, and look at that. Epicness, just epicness. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. The memories of violent battles surge within this sword when you raise it to the sky. Your skyward strike is now at maximum strength. Oh wait, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> recognition complete, master. Alright, so a little explanation. In Heroes Mode, I believe the Skyward Strike is already upgraded all the way. Yeah, spoilers, your Skyward Strike does get stronger as the game progresses. In Heroes Mode, it does carry over. Sorry about that, but hey, it's still a challenge because it's Heroes Mode. Link, my master. Link! Hey, it's gay. Hora. <laughs> I've had my <laughs> but until now I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I have kept secret all these years, it began to give a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things. Here alone with the sword, there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I to feel Oh, I'm sorry guys, it is like late at night. <coughs> so, pardon my yawns. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also useful in likeness yet wit likeness yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition. <laughs> the oral. Oral tradition. One of the <laughs> least reliable methods of information re re retention? retention and transmission. It appears that the critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. I 
I thought she was going to say something more after that. Oh. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's tro chosen hero, and he it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such as his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. This all sounds so encouraging, doesn't it? And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some fathers of old texts talk about a place called the surface. Old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Yep, there's actually a surface underneath us. Shocker. If you haven't, if you didn't figure that out by now. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. And then she lifts her lifts her sh sleeves up, and she gives us a block of wood. But it's not just any block of wood. It is actually a block of stone, and it illuminates a path to the surface that we can take. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet looks very... looks... feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room with a skyward strike. These blasts are a form of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Alright, so let's do this. I wish I could... <sighs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, late night. <coughs> I wish I could do this without the freaking battery, low battery sign in the bottom right. Oh yeah. <coughs> so, as you can see, my Skyward Strike is actually fully upgraded because this is Heroes Mode and it does carry over. Normally it takes a lot longer for the Skyward Sword to charge up this early, but eh, what can you do? Anyway, let's just do this. <coughs> oh, apparently I'm sick too. Tired and sick. Not the best combination to be recording with, but oh well, I will truck on because I am a trooper. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds and the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you and be your navi wherever you go. I reside in your sword and will accompany you in my travels. Press down to summon me wherever you require my assistance, but sometimes I pop out anyway just to give you pointless advice, just like every other guide in the Legend of Zelda series. Yep, so if you didn't realize, uh, you guys can read this old man text as I ramble. Fi is going to be... Yes, that's her name, Fi. Or Fi, whatever you want to say. I'll call her Fi, or Fi. I'll call her Fi. Alright, her name is Fi. Or I gotta choose a name right now. I, I'm so used to calling her Phi, but I know everyone pronounces it Phi. It's, it'll be, it'll be Phi. I'll call her Phi. I'll get accustomed. At least I'll try. But yeah, Phi is basically our Navi in this game, so it's her duty to give us pointless advice and be annoying. 
Okay, I don't know what I'm agreeing to because I <laughs> skipped all the man's task text, but we're going with it. You do your people proud, Link. Don't touch me. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the boast of bo for the boast of us. Yep, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and these clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race so should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. Alright. So this is actually going to be the last couple of cutscenes, and then we are off to do adventuring. Finally, after... How long was it? I'm not going to save. After, how long was it? Four parts? Well, the action really takes off. It's going to take off in the next part, so... Five parts of just, like, nothing but talking and cutscenes and whatnot. We're finally going to get into this... Bleh, we're finally going to get into some action. We finally get to see Link in his night clothing. Looking spiff. Spick and span. Spank, spick and... Spick, spick and... You know what I mean. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's just as though you were born to wear it. Yup, traditional Zelda clothing right there. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the stops at the bazaar. Here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. Sorry, I was like checking my time real quick. <laughs> I like paused while I was reading. I will return to my quarters and see if I will... If I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Alright, enough of the text now. That skip button is really tempting, but I will not do it because I want to show you guys all the cutscenes. So, before we go, as usual, we will get in this cabinet and find out that there's nothing there. Huh. What fi? Master, the batteries in your re I know! I know! I, I called her Fi, didn't I? Her name's gonna be Fi eventually, so I'm calling her Fi. I don't. I'm, I'm never gonna get accum accustomed to calling her Fee. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're looking out. Yeah, you're heading out to look for Zoda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. That's because you're a wimp. Only real men go out in the wilderness and wear green clothing. But we got the adventure pouch. The, the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. And we start out with four slots. It's an adventure pouch. It's for, well... Adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it you'll need on your big journey. Uh, we can upgrade this adventure pouch up to eight slots in the future. So, uh, adventure pouch you can usually find in either chests or you can buy them. What do you have to say? Hey, hey I just saw the news. Out, out of all of us, how come you get promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of that, Groose won't come out of his room, and Zelda is missing. It's all your fault. Way to go, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. If I could hit you with the sword, I would do it a lot. I would do it a lot. But ignoring that little nuisance, we are going to go out here and... And look at my battery being low. No, I'm just kidding. Ugh, I have to talk to more people. I heard the news link. Zelda's fallen through the, down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her, isn't that right? Yes. The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? I know. I'm, I'm going there now. And that's a famous sword. Yeah, I know. You're telling us things that we already know, but he does give us the wooden shield. Which is good. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's also the weakest of all shields. Also, keep in mind that it's per particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. That's right. Uh, we are just going to head over to the bazaar right now, and we are going to start going beneath the clouds in the next episode. So, I will show off the bazaar real quick before we get started. What, Fi? Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet. Mm, column of light has appeared, and signs indicate this. You address that, like, back inside of the 
Sword room. Oh, she's gonna tell us to be prepared. I have a shield. She's telling us to get potions. Yeah. What? <sighs> Gear screen. Change the on screen. Thank you. Th th thank you, Five, for being. <laughs> giving me useless advice. So it begins. You guys know how much I hate Midna if you've seen my Twilight Princess LP. Fi is even worse, in my opinion. Fi is the most annoying guide I have ever been with. Granted, she does give good advice once in a while, but for the most part, oh my. It's gonna be a long journey. Alright, so. Did I say you could talk to me? Okay. So, I'll give a quick rundown of the bizarre things here. Skip all your things. Trust my piercing eyes! It's important because it's in red. Oh, do you no harm? Yeah, thank you. Alright, this right here is the fortune teller. You can talk to him if you need help later on. I think he predicts where you need to go. And... Oh, I was listening to the baby in the background. Um, Anyway. he all, You can also ask him about treasures where they locate... Where, where treasures are located. Like regular treasures like monster claws and... Hold on, I'll just show you. Like these. These kind of treasures. So yeah, he'll tell you where you can find those kinds of treasures. Uh, this is the gear shop. You can upgrade your items as you progress through the game to either make them faster or more stronger. Depending on what the item is, he will also repair your shield if your shield gets damaged. So that's very nice. He's also important for later in the game. This is the item check lady. She becomes important later too, but... For now, uh, if your adventure pouch is full, you can come to her and you can store any items you don't need to her. So that's very good. You'll probably be visiting her a lot. Uh, this guy, he just sells normal things. He has bombs here, arrows, and seeds. None of which we can use right now, so he's not of importance. He does have a wooden shield up for sale, but we already have a wooden shield. So I also like that he kind of gets depressed when you walk away from his stand. He's like... Ah, uh, you didn't buy anything. Mope, 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 mope. And then when he come close, he's all excited. He's like, oh, I've got to show this off. A customer, a customer. It's basically your general store of the bazaar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how to buy, but okay. Now I'm going to explain. All you need to do is stand in front of the thing and press A. Yeah, yeah. I want to show off what he's like. I want to show off like what he does when you don't buy something. When you act like you're gonna buy something and... Oh, wait a minute. Durr. Of course. I gotta, like, walk in front of the item, dude. Where's your brain at, man? Where's your brain at? Alright, so let's just do this. Ah, very sorry about it. Ah! Come on. Wooden shield. There we go. Aha, that's a wooden shield. Blah, 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 blah. It will break. Yeah? Oh, that's a nice wooden shield. I like it. But you know what? I'm not gonna buy it. Look at his face. <laughs> I love that. That was always funny to me. He's an awesome character, just because he's so <laughs> ridiculous. All right, and over here, lastly, is the potion, the potion shop. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown on the potions here. This is a stamina potion, the green one. Basically, what you do when you drink it, you replenish your stamina, and it stays like that for the most. For um, a short time, I think. I could be wrong though. I might just like replenish it normally. I I forget. I think she tells you though. <laughs> hey, you there? Yes, you. The adorable boar with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. Uh, one of those nights. Oh, it is important that you talk that you talk to her because she gives you your first. Yep. You knew this was coming. Can't have a Zelda game without empty bottles, and she actually gives us the first empty bottle of the game. There we go. All right, so now she basically gives us gives that to us, so you can buy a potion from her. But I don't think I'm gonna buy anything from her because you do get a potion when you uh, start going beneath the clouds very soon. This is a red potion. It replenishes up to eight hearts of health when you drink it. Blue potion. 
I forget what these do, honestly. I know one of them is a shield regenerating potion, which is basically you pour it on your shield and it repairs it automatically and you gain health back. I forget what this one is. I think it's an invulnerability potion, which, me, which uh, makes Link invincible for a short time. And I think the green potion makes Link uh, have unlimited stamina for, stamina for a short time. Don't quote me on that though, because I really didn't use potions in any of my playthroughs of this game, so I could be wrong there. But also, one thing to note before we start heading off is there is going to be a floating shop around here. It is going to be Beetle's Air Shop. There it is right here. There it is. Uh, this will become important later, but we can't do anything about it now because to get him to stop, you have to ring that bell, but we don't have anything to ring the bell yet with. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to just ignore that right now. But that shop does have good things. I will show that off at some point later on because he does become of some importance quest wise and shop wise just keep that in mind so I think now that uh, how much time are we at we're at 27 minutes so let's gonna we're gonna call it an episode here right at the bridge in the next episode we're gonna jump off and start our adventure so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, comment, subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you next time, guys, when we actually get into the real action. So, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.